Hey guys, this is your girl Nikki Simone here on Behind the Mic Live. We are in Atlanta at the Dream Project, and I have the person that made it all happen. She goes by the name of Miss Tanisha Jackson Warner. How are you? I am wonderful. I'm blessed, I'm excited, and just completely um, overflowing after today. What made you feel the need to even have the Dream Project? What made you even have the fortitude to do something this big? Well, as an entrepreneur, I know what it means on a day-to-day -day basis to um, just live the sacrifice. And so um, the goal here was to support entrepreneurs in the midst of the sacrifice to know that the dream does get bigger, mm -hmm. that the dream um, will turn out and to stick with it and, and many of you have already accomplished one dream but the dreaming is a journey um, and it was just to provide inspiration and information and practical knowledge to support them with the road map um, to have those dreams turn out. Agami Consulting Group. Now I just found out that that means something. Tell everybody what that means because that's <laughs> awesome. Igami is actually image spelled backwards. We help you discover your brand image from the inside out. Um, if that's a company that's really looking inside of a firm or a business to say what is your image in the inside and how do we bring that to life in reverse so that the world can experience. If you're an individual, same type of exercise. Who are you in the inside? What gifts dwell? And how do we make sure that your reverse image is a reflection of what the world experiences? Why did you decide to come and inaugural this event in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm from the South and uh, we've executed a lot of events throughout the East Coast, New York, Boston, Boston, um, up, upper, uh, up, upstate New York, and it was about coming home. And, you know, I'm from Dothan, Alabama. I couldn't go all the way back to Dothan, but Atlanta is close to home. I was still able to have people come up from Dothan, so it was just about coming back home. Kathy Hughes, Will Packer, Russell Simmons, the panel lineup was just dynamic. Um, Amazing. Tons of investors, we had social media experts, we had life coaches, the list goes on and on and on. So a lot of speakers join forces. A lot of uh, speakers join forces with us in this vision today. Now for those who did not know about it, didn't make it, this is not going to just stop here, it's going to continue going, why should they make sure they make the next one? And what city will you be in if you already have that planned? All right. <laughs> you want to make sure, well, number one, go out to social media. Do a search on hashtag Dream Project 2013. Don't just take it from me. Just go look at the responses from the people that were in the room. Um, you want to make sure you're in this room so you join this community. Today, 300 entrepreneurs walk out in the world, not only confidently, but a commitment to their dreams. Well, I wanted to plug your book, Profit with Purpose. Okay, tell us a little bit about this book so you can... So this book actually features a lot of our marketing campaigns over the past 10 years. It's really um, featuring corporations that have mastered asking themselves the question, what's my brand purpose? How do I serve my consumers? How do I serve the world uniquely? And how do I bring that to life? And what we found is you're able to do that through purpose-driven initiatives. Now, ironically, as we started, as I started to write this book, and when I say we because I was really interviewing a lot of our Fortune 100 clients, um, I realized that there's a blueprint in here that an individual can apply to their life in terms of bringing their purpose to life. There is a blueprint in here that a um, entrepreneur can use in their life to make sure that their business is uniquely serving the world. So that's a little bit about it. If you're an individual wanting to know what's my purpose, how do I serve the world, and how does it generate profit, then it's for you. If you're an entrepreneur, what is my purpose? What is this my business purpose? How does it serve the world? And how does it make a profit? Then it's also for you. Well, congratulations. And you guys, first of all, this beautiful lady right here did all this in these fabulous shoes and has not come out of them now one time. I mean, that's a dream in itself. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.